all live on a spectrum of very male traits and very female traits, and we all fall somewhere within that spectrum. And of course, as we age, uh, testosterone goes down in men, and you see older men uh, express far more, more compassion. And as a woman ages, levels of estrogen go down, expressing levels of, uh, of testosterone, and older women can become extremely assertive. So we do change during the course of our lives. What's important to remember, though, is these basic male and female traits are probably patterned into the brain in the womb. As the brain is developing in the womb, fetal testosterone and fetal estrogen are washing over the brain, building uh, some of the gender differences that we see in men and women around the world and across our lives. As Steven Pinker once said, he said, it's 100% cultural and 100% biological. You simply cannot tease nature and nurture apart. And now, of course, with the new field of epigenetics, we know that various cultural experiences can turn genes on and off. And we certainly know also that we are born with certain genetic predispositions that come straight out of our biology. So we're both a highly cultural animal and a highly biological animal. And culture can sculpt the brain, and certainly biology sculpts the brain too.